knowledge under Islam is haram. <laughs> Brothers, sisters and friends, I hope what I'm going to say now is not taking out of my time because I follow an ethical tradition and that ethical tradition is when you intellectually engage with others, you can't lie. So I'm very close to walking out, but I'm not because I want to respect all of you. If I want to ask Mr. Perkins a question. You said knowledge is haram in Islam, I want you to give me the proof. Well, I... You said knowledge is haram, forbidden in Islam. I want textual proof from the Quran or the Sunnah, the prophetic traditions. If you don't do that, either admit you're lying or you're misinformed. You're a doctor, you're an academic, to come here, to come here, all types, all types of knowledge, to come here and to actually spew lies is un What I said was... You said knowledge was haram? Yes. And if you're wrong, I want an apology. <laughs> It is very friendly. I'm just trying to teach people manners. What, Sorry. I, what I was referring to... Yes, sir, please. What I was referring to... Yes, sir. ...were the, the teachings of Al-Ghazali. And he said no, it was haram. Uh, what he said was that reason and... I read right a book by Al-Ghazali. Okay, what... Well, what I said that he said was, okay. reason and rationality are used to be condemned. Okay, now, if I have misinterpreted the word haram, perhaps I am incorrect in that. But okay. what I meant by yes. that yes. was just what I said here, that reason and rationality is condemned in Islam. That's what I meant. By okay, that. that's a lie. Well, that is what, Have you read the works of Ali Ghazali? Name me one book he wrote. It was one. One book. I believe he wrote The Incoherence of the Prophets. No, it's called The Incoherence of the Philosophers. Philosophers. <laughs> this is exactly my point. I'm going to start my presentation. Thank you.